Hi, and welcome to you test me get certified. This video will show you how to add questions in an Excel spreadsheet and import them into question pools all at once. Navigate to tests, then to question pools and decide whether you want to import questions to an already existing question pool or the newly created one. For the new one, enter the name and optionally a description. Navigate to questions and click on the load button. Click here to download an Excel template. The template contains three sheets, questions, answers, and legend. In legend, you will find a guide for filling the template and predefined codes for filling the question type, difficulty level, denoting correct and incorrect answers, and frequency factor. Let's add one question now. Question ID represents a unique number that indicates the question and links the answer to the question. Question type column has a drop-down menu with predefined codes that can be found in legend. Duration refers to the time defined for the question. It is mandatory to enter time expressed in seconds, even though a duration per question will apply only if it's enabled in the test settings. A question can be easy, medium or hard. The question difficulty code is also picked from the drop-down list and explained in legend. The frequency factor represents the probability of question appearing in the test. As with duration, this column has to be filled, but applied only if test generator is enabled. Define number of points and penalty points. You can set a zero value to decide not to have any penalty points. Question ID in answer sheet is used to match answers to the questions in the question sheet, while the ordinal number in most cases determines the order by which answers will appear. For incorrect answers put N and for the correct ones Y. Now let's add every supported question type. Some question types differ when filling the answer sheet, as it's indicated in the legend. For example, for essay questions, no data should be entered in the answer table as the answer is open-ended. When it comes to true or false question type, only two values are allowed to be entered in the answer field, true and false, and you should denote which one is correct. Ordinal numbers of the order in question type represent the correct order and the answers will be automatically randomized in the test taking process. With fill in the blank questions, where users need to fill in the missing parts of sentences, one row represents the text and the other the blank that should be filled. Although both ordering and fill in the blanks don't have correct and incorrect answers defined, each statement must have Y or N value. There is one answer per question for open-ended questions, and it should have the value Y. For matching questions, users should pair items on the left with the items on the right side. To define correct pairs, each pair should have same number of ordinal numbers, and the answer order will be automatically randomized. To form two sets of answers that should be matched, statements on the left side should have N value, and those on the right side, Y value. After you fill the template, click on the Select File button, choose a file and upload it. As you can see, questions are successfully uploaded, because if they weren't, a pop-up notification with the errors listed would appear. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.